What are Latin squares? Latin squares are grids with identical row and column numbers that house any number of characters or symbols. While the number of rows and columns must match, there is no limit to how many there can be, with the exception of a 2x2 two two grid and a 6x6 six six grid due to technical limitations of the Latin square. So what are these limitations? Well, you can only have that character or symbol appear once in each column and once per row. Unlike your classic game of Sudoku, it does not matter if the same character appears twice in a diagonal line, and you can add additional elements to your Latin square for each cell, such as this dual element Latin square, where the suit and face types are their own unique elements. The example on the top demonstrates how face types and suits appear more than once in certain columns, breaking the rules of a Latin square. The example below is how a 4x4 grid should be properly sorted. The faces and suits occur only once in each column and row, and the diagonal occurrences we can pay little attention to. This can be tricky to pull off at first, but it gets easier with practice. So what good are Latin squares? Well obviously sorting cards is not relevant to an engineer's job, however we can use these stipulations to craft other scenarios using Latin square rules for some more interesting applications. Consider the following situation in the next slide. A team of 10 people consisting of engineers and scientists come to the realization that the project they've been working on has to be submitted by the end of the week. Someone from the engineering department comes up with a solution deviating from their traditional methods of collaboration, utilizing the idea of collaboration between departments without compromising the mission of cooperating within a group. They develop a strategy based on the card example in the previous slide. The scientist team represents the card faces while the engineering team represents the card suits. In this sense, the dual element Latin square matches the previous card example. There are five members per department for both the scientists and engineering teams, so unlike the previous 4x4 Latin square grid, this one is 5x5 five five instead. The teams were displayed in the previous slide. The letters are the initials of the first names of the 10 engineers and scientists that make up the whole team. The Latin square follows traditional Latin square rules. A person from both the engineering and science team appears only once in each column and row. This means that the Latin square was designed in such a way that every engineer and every scientist has to work together once throughout the week, and each person only has to work one time slot once throughout the week as well. This means that the workloads and schedules are distributed evenly for everyone throughout the week, and everyone gets to work together at some point during the week regardless of what everyone else is doing at any given time. With this strategy, no one gets left behind or feels left out, and the amount of work that is done throughout the week is ultimately maximized.